Hey, Dory Friend here, and I'm going to do a quick review of the sales letter so you don't have to read it all because I know I hate going to sales letters, sales letters and then uh, not having the time to read. So basically, headline, I'm telling you about blog uh, buffer networks uh, that I've been talking about them since 207. And yeah, you know what? The future is, and I've been saying this since 207, that you're going to want to own your own personal network of uh, you know blog network, buffer network. Now we have to take care of our money sites like we didn't used to before. Um, in this video, I'm just showing you, you know, the idea, I did this like in 209, the idea of owning your own network, you know, and I say that is O for owner uh, and how powerful that is when you own and control all your links going into your money sites uh, and that's plural money sites. So, you know, when things change, you can go back and change them up. You can change your anchor text. You can do whatever you want, make more URL links, make more brand links, things like that. It's really important now uh, more than it ever was, especially with that disavow tool. I can't tell you how dangerous that is. You know, it's Google crowdsourcing uh, uh, links that, you know, that they don't want to. It's Google crowdsourcing spammy links. And, you know, that could be coming from sites that aren't spammy as well, you know, a reputable site. So it's just a bad thing all the way around. Anyway, so we got to protect uh, our money sites. This is one really great way to do it. So down, we're well, just going to scroll down here as I'm going into telling you what a blog network is, what a buffer site network. Uh, this was an old uh, screenshot that I did of a presentation, you know, and I used to chase after page rank. I don't do that anymore because it's more important to get theme and age, I believe, because page rank is something you can ma manipulate um, on the back end. Anyway, let's scroll down a little bit. I go into the history of why and how all this happened. You know, it started with Panda. Uh, 3.3 actually on February 27th and with this little change here and then how sites just dramatically fell. I mean I, I have slide after slide of you know screenshots like this um, and then Penguin came out and then of course I you know I didn't want to put a little penguin on there like everybody else I just couldn't do it. So then I go in and I explain you know what is a network of buffer sites? Well it's basically a, a, a network of blogs or other types of platforms because we build them on different platforms but they're going to protect your money site. So instead of doing all those crazy one-way links we were doing with all the keyword rich money terms, keywords uh, pointing into our money site, now we need to be doing those into tiered sites, into buffer sites. So so they get in here, they still leak the juice of all this, but then with your URL link to your money site, you're not going to get penalized for having too much exact match anchor text. And that's basically what a buffer site does. So this is um, what these do is all the links come into the buffer site, which then protects your money site. And that is the premise for this. And then I go into showing you uh, what it would be like, you know, with a network of buffer sites. You're not just making one or two, you're getting, you know, five, ten a month, things like that. And the power uh, that goes into that when you have all these buffer sites protecting your money site. And um, of course, I, I am the one that builds those. Uh, I have been building networks since 203. I, I, want to be humble and I don't want to be cocky, but I can be a little bit because I've been doing this for a long, long time. I have systems all around building nice, good websites, uh, networks of them. So here I go. All you have to do is tell me what market, what keyword and what URLs you want. And that is pretty much it. So here's the illustration where, you know, I'm going to build those. I'm going to build the B's. I'm going to build the B's and you guys link to the A's and the B's and then shoot the link. We will actually shoot the link to your money sites. You tell us where you want us to link those B's up to and we will do that. And SEO is going to be yours again. Now, of course, I cannot guarantee anything. This is this is just going to be new best practice, as I believe in all my SEO buddies believe as well. Um, of course, I can't guarantee anything in search engine optimization. And as a search engine professional, you know that as well as I do. So uh, I can't, I'm not going to make any guarantees except that I'm going to do my best to get you the best sites that I possibly can from the expired domain auctions and build those up for you. So uh, they look great. And here's some uh, uh, 
examples of those sites using different platforms, different themes and templates, different widgets, modules, extensions, all kinds of things. We're putting the contact pages with email address and phone number, uh, policy, privacy policy, disclaimer, site terms and conditions. You need all this stuff and it actually was in, you know, the Google's um, guidelines, uh, reviewer guidelines that you need all this stuff and a form won't do it. So anybody who's out there building and link networks with just the form, that is a telltale sign that you are what Google wants to say is a spammer. I hate that word and I hate they're calling it that now, but you know, it's SEO and that's, I guess, what it's come down to for Google. Um, anyway, we, we also do non-spun articles. I don't believe in spinning. I do think, you know, I want to provide good value on these sites. I believe uh, duplicate content is better than spun content. And I go into the reasons of that right here. And then I talk about what a typical site would have, you know, and there's places to put static links that look natural to other sites not in your theme, say like reviews or testimonials or things like that. And then other places where you're just going to have articles, an article that may stay on the front page with your, you know, some of your links in it, your contextual links, articles that go through, articles that don't have links, maybe more of your articles that do have links, but everything related to your market. So it's a nice website that people can actually, you know, come to and, and like and love. Um, and so we also have related news and other things. I mean, it's just a basic, nice looking real website. Uh, and they're hosted on real mom and pop hosting. And since I've been doing this since 203, uh, I've learned the hard way, so you don't have to. So I go through all the things that, that I'm not doing uh, with my networks and building these for you that other people may be doing still. Um, and then I go into things that I will be doing for these networks and I get, you know, you, you can go read through those, see the in particulars. And then of course I had to use the silver platter. I've never done that on a sales letter before. And I just, I thought, well, I am kind of delivering this on a silver platter. Uh, all you have to do is give me the market, the keywords and your URL where you want me to link them. And I'm going to, uh, build them for you. Of course, you're responsible for hosting. I have a great host solution for that. That was built just for this. And we will transfer all the domains into your GoDaddy account. Um, so you will have ownership and full control over these domains forever more. And then I go into some other questions uh, that people kind of ask all the time. My to-do list when I go through the cost, uh, this is the stuff that I actually do. And then, you know, these were my pricing structures that I was thinking about uh, when I was coming up with this. And I thought no way I would do the bottom one, but actually it turns out that's the one I chose. Um, I, I just thought, you know, I haven't pulled in any affiliate, affiliates in right now so I can, I can be at these low prices because this is just going out to my list. Uh, but once I do bring in affiliates, the, the prices will probably stay the same, the same, but the site numbers will go down. So, um, so now's the time to get in if you want to get in with uh, the lowest you can or the highest amount of sites that you can get. And then the, the links down here. Uh, then I go into a little bit about myself. Yes, I spoke at Yannick Silver's Underground in, in 207. That's when I was talking about uh, owning your own network of sites so you can do this type of thing. Uh, I used to, you know, work with Apple Computer. Here is a cool demo of the stuff I used to do, logo design and all kinds of other software development stuff. And then the people I hang out with. You know, I just wanted you to know that I was a real person, not just someone hiding behind a domain name. Uh, that's me actually in the corner. I hang out with these guys. Uh, some really cool pictures of people that I don't hang out with, but I did have the opportunity to meet. And then also, you know, I clawed my way into Maverick 1000 and they have a strict application progress and you have to be making seven figures a year. And I have been doing that. So I, like I, I said, again, I know what I'm doing. I'm not hiding behind uh, a, a website or anything else. I'm here, I'm real. And if you can talk to me, you can email me. Um, and uh, if you come to one of my seminars, you can party at my house. Anyway, that's it for me. And uh, of course, if you're not doing SEO, this is not for you. And just like Matt Cutt says, if you're not doing SEO, then you won't need to do the dis use the disavow tool. Well, of course not. And, and please stay away from that tool anyway. Now I'm going to get on a tangent. But yeah, if you're not doing SEO, don't worry about buffer sites. But if you are doing SEO like the rest of us, then you may want to consider using buffer sites, having me build them or you building them yourself. All right, Dory friend out.